and now here on Treville 2 it's time for highlights of this weekend's Rugby World Cup semi-final action. England and Wales both in action in Sports Night. Folks, good evening to you. Welcome back to Sports Night, a Rugby World Cup special with the two semi-finals with the two remaining Southern Hemisphere sides against the two Northern Hemisphere sides as well. South Africa are playing Wales and we will have the highlights of that game later. But firstly, we're starting off with the first semi-final played yesterday between England and New Zealand. England have absolutely excelled in this tournament with their destruction of the Wallabies last weekend. But it's New Zealand that seems to be the unstoppable force. They haven't lost in the Rugby World Cup since a quarter-final defeat to France back in Cardiff in 2007. To take you through the action for the first semi-final in Yokohama in Japan was Trevor McLaren. This might just be the biggest game of rugby between both sides because you'd fancy that one of these two sides are going to win this Rugby World Cup based on their form. England's form has been outstanding but this is the side that they have to beat. The All Blacks have been the best side in this tournament once again. But once as always we will have the famous Haka to start. spark fear into the opposition England won't have fear just the understanding that they've not beaten the All Blacks not only since 2012 they've never beaten them at the World Cup and this is their fourth attempt Ooh, first challenge is a tough one and that's, that's uh, Slade's World Cup over possibly Manu Tuilagi is on Henry Slade here is holding that shoulder and looks to be in considerable pain. Kick down Fields. And Slade hits Jack Noel. A strong hit. Kick up into the all black half. Good take by Smith. And running in Fields. Strong challenge to the ground. Referee really told England to release here though. Franks throws away. Down again. And a penalty here, New Zealand holding on. In the ruck. Cameron Farrell, will he kick from here? Yep. He's going to want us to put points on the board here. And there is the opening score of the Rugby World Cup semi final. Farrells kick the penalty, England lead by three to nothing. And the atmosphere is really picking up. All Blacks here coming at England again. 
strong hit by Cruz. On the breakdown, New Zealand retain possession. Passes in field. Big hit by Farrell. Horrible high tackle. Maritoji here. He's sin bins. Richie Moonga here. Look for touch. And after all that territory England have worked at, they've given it away. Moonga acknowledges it was a good kick under pressure. has sounded here New Zealand still trying to force an opening England desperately trying to win possession the space open on the right hand side and bridge here one on one and through and it's past Daly and scores In the last kick of the first half the All Blacks lead England and have that try George Bridge goes over for New Zealand. But just how soul destroying is this for England? Wonderful dummy. Look at this, really is a thing of beauty, this dummy. And the pass is placed to him here by the flanker. There he goes, there's the dummy. Sends Daly, Daly all over the place, gets over for the score. Mawunga here with the conversion this goes over this will be and it is yep it's seven the lead is four at half time it's advantage New Zealand well, the All Blacks will be delighted with that England distraught they have a lot of work to do lots of territory lots of possession New Zealand dominating that half England when they got into the New, Ke New Zealand territory kicked their penalty but so far New Zealand have been far too strong Itoji Simbinning could prove important as that's been the turning point in the match so far Milano's throw by half George Ford New Zealand so happy to go inside to the wing of Fikitawa it's down again England have the ball and the pass inside and oh Makovinopola horrible high tackle penalty awarded Vinopola here what does Moonga do going to a kick for three more points this will put the leads to a converted try it's right in front of the post and kicked comfortably New Zealand's 10 England 3 the scrum is so important England's forwards here it's been a real test for them but this New Zealand pack is just so dominant. They've got a foothold and whoa! The pushback. Fourth throws the ball. This is Jack No! And now it's inside to Darwin Farrell who's brought down. Right on halfway. England looking to try the back line. Vinopolo with the throw inside. Ford inside again. Heavy on the breakdown. Tain ball and a huge huge hit the, the winger out 
side again. Scrum half put down. But New Zealand is still making their edging their way closer and closer towards that England 22. 10 metres inside, breaking the game line. Keeping possession. Huge hit again. And broken through. And still. Good challenge by Ford. Picked up by Messam. Now again, there's a man over. If George can see him, he hasn't. He hasn't. The winger had opened it up. Flanker there. He's gone over to score. England has escaped Vinopolo. And this is... To Alangi, brought down, trying to gain a bit of game line. England have them all just outside the 22. They go short. Farrell here. Jack Noll, Itoji. He's brought down inside his own 22. Now it come New Zealand and oh, another, another horrible tackle by Mako Vinopola. He's got to be sinned in for that. He could have gone. He probably should have. Lining this up is Richie Moonga. Be a converted try and the score away. England are in second best. And that just compounds it here in Yokohama. And New Zealand are on their way for a hat-trick of World Cup Finals. Owen Farrell on his side need to produce something. Got to start winning more in the breakdown. Got to start building territory. He goes for territory. Kicks it. It's just about the 10 metre line. A huge hit. And Farrell follows up the huge hit. Can England gain ball here? They have turnover inside Elliot Daly marking through. England again retain. This is Snelliger. Out wide. Farrell! Oh! Bridge brings him down and is the try score has been sinbinned for the All Blacks. George Bridge is gone. He will sit out for 10 minutes. What does Aaron Farrell do here? He wants three points. He knows his side need to come away with points in this situation if you're going to be attacking. It's a fantastic kick. Aaron Farrell kicks. England six, New Zealand 13. Big scrum this is for England. Have to go and win this. They've struggled against the All Black Pack today. Big final effort required. Nine minutes left of the World Cup semi-final. And inside, all black 22, and Atoji is going for the line! He's pulled down on halfway, charging away. It's just what England needed. Ford and, oh! Ford is absolutely clattered and Toa is sin bin. It's the second sin bin. Owen Farrell. Has it got the distance? It's got the aim. It's got the distance. England are two within four. We are set up for a thrilling finale here in Tokyo. Zealand trying to play the way their own half and they've done it oh in this side the 10 meters inside England's half they've got the ball and it's where they're going to want to keep it no mistakes keep it nice and simple stopping them from getting anywhere into a kicking area don't give away a penalty that won't matter for England May. Snelliger loses it. Billy Vinopolo brought down. 
Black have turned it over. Fantastically done. Huge challenge and a horrible, horrible challenge. Uh, Cruz here has made a massive mistake. And when comes the try scorer in the sin bin. There's the klaxon. So this is going to be it. With Chimo Wonga with the opportunity to kick the penalty. And it is a hat trick of World Cup finals for the All Blacks. England's World Cup of Japan comes to the end of the semi final stage. It has been a gallant effort. But they have been beaten by the better side here today and sometimes they'll have to hold the hands up in a minute All Blacks were absolutely fantastic and we're hoping to the avenge well they are unbeaten in this decade in the World Cup has there ever been a more dominant side to play international sports the Test Rugby England had chances, but Owen Farrell's three penalties were the only points they could score. Mwunga had a hat-trick of his own, but also Bridges' converted try in the end was the difference. For England, their World Cup is over. Well, it just wasn't meant to be for Owen Farrell's men. Eddie Jones and the England team can hold them head up high. They gave everything they did, but the All Blacks were too strong for them in, in the end. And coming through comfortable winners many congratulations to them they will play in the final next sunday that you will be able to watch live of us here on trevor sports um we also have for you another semi-final this was also played earlier on this morning it was between wales and south africa wales tragically lost thanks to a 9-8 defeat in a half penny kick that was just half a yard away of taking them through after sam warbleton's unlucky red card back in 2011 they always seem to perform better in the far east semi-finalists two times in new zealand and here they are today after they got past a french side south africa the current rugby champions are definitely a side to be worried about they possess a real ability here and they famously knocked wales out of the last world cup in twickenham four years ago at the stadium for us today was trevor mclaren Wales have been here before but they don't know what it's like to get past this line for the two-time world champion South Africa a chance to meet the All Blacks and a chance to repit the big showdown of the rugby championship they've got to get past this Welsh side it has been outstanding in recent times led by Alan Wynne-Jones a big moment for them in their rugby world cup history seems to have formed better on the other side of the world south africa have won a home world cup and have won in the northern hemisphere in france whoever does it they'll be the first to win in asia and pampi the captain with the kickoff and the second world cup semi-final is underway Straight away here, Ken Owens is down. And he looks to be rather hurt. And Baldwin is brought in in his place. And number 17 will replace Ken Owens at hooker. How wide and the run is in. Liam Williams brought down. Wales trying to run out of their own half here. Free flame Welsh rugby that they're known for. Strong challenge. Sam Williams and a high tackle and a sin bin. The Marlon is the number eight that is sent off. He will spend 10 minutes on the sideline. Oh! Falatau brought down heavily and Matawania is going to have to spend some time. South Africa down to 13 now. And number eight returns. They were 13 for about two minutes. Pollard feeds the scrum. 
Springbok versus the Welsh Dragons. Wonderful effort this is. So important that they get something from this try. Out to George North and crosses back in. And going over the line to score! And in the World Cup semi-final, Wales have a huge moment. They've got the opening score. Lovely little exchanges of passes. But it was Dan Bigger's pass out wide that was the key. Running into space, look at this again. Webb's throw inside to George North and in the end it comes back to Dan Bigger. And there is Williams to dive over. Well, Lee Halfpenny famously was half a foot short of sending Wales into their first final. And halfway through the first half kicks the conversion. And Wales have a 7-0 lead. Wales again with all the pressure and he's been substituted to Aim Vermarlin and now he's injured. So the big number eight will place no more in this. Number 16 Smith is on in his replacement. Huge hits. Oh, Matamanira is brought down a high tackle. Horrible challenge that by George North. And uh, MPP here is going to go for touch. And it will be a five meter line out for South Africa. fancy themselves to break the Welsh line here half an hour gone marks with a throw it's a fine take we've got them all and Cork is over South Africa score Wales hung on but the Springbok strike back and Vincent Cock Here's the try scorer. We'll have a look at this from the breakdown here. There's the ball. Vincent Cock picked the balls up and look at that. He's had a huge challenge by the new man for Wales, Baldwin. So he's come on as a substitute ball when he's made the challenge on Vincent Cock, but when it's mattered, oh, he's ended up taking him over the line. And uh, now Makazole Mpipi, the Springbok captain, kick the conversion and bring South Africa level. Which he does really nicely. And we are level here. The halfpenny comes inside. Oh, South Africa. I'm there coming down. He's only spoken to by the uh, referee. He says, You're going to spend 10 minutes. That is the third yellow that South Africa have had. Dan Bigger kicks. Finds touch. And both sides have a break. This is proving to be a fascinating Rugby World Cup match. Wales with the possession, with more territory, with more line breaks, more offloads. With South Africa in dominant in the scrum. Kicks better. Wales handling areas. Errors. 
could be the difference in this game at least this is anybody's to win in the second half Dan Bigger to kick Alan Wynne Jones and his men know that the biggest 40 minutes of Welsh Rugby Union is ahead of them in the World Cup same can be said for South Africa as well Colossi brought down with a colossal challenge which allows Wales to turn the ball over and they're continuing to play and I think South Africa have turned this back over again kick going back the half penny is there as is Liam Williams the kick's gone out in the full it's a fine kick Wales throwing on the five metre line. Huge defensive effort required. Straight away the heave and the charge. And a brilliant tackle. Oh, score! And it is the South African captain that goes over. It's the handling errors that you said that could be costly that has shown it to be Wales here were caught by the South African pack ball was thrown out it was straight into Williams who lost it in the challenge and PB here just lines up and dives over to score how important could that be crucial now with the conversion Should be two more. Oh, it's not. He's got it all wrong. Wales now a converted try, puts them back in the lead. Wales again inside the South African 22, trying to force an opportunity through. Chances are wide, going for the line. This is a big moment. George North. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. And South Africa with outstanding defending. He was carried back. Webb to feed the scrum. Wales are five metres away. Huge effort required. Got it. It's north. Williams again, it's North again. It's just fantastic defending from South Africa. Huge hits, back down. I think there's going to be another scrum. That will, ah, oh, ferocious hit by Hill. Five meter scrum from a defensive bit of rugby here. South Africa, this is the football equivalent of kicking the ball off the line repeatedly. They're having to defend so stoutly and so sternly. This is Webb going to go live. Bigger is brought down. Seven metres out. Passes inside to Williams. And again, South Africa defending Wales, trying again. And South Africa escaped with the ball. Big challenge by Hill, the flanker coming in. And a huge maul here taking place as Wales try to force the game. They've got possession. Passes out wide. Tipper it down. And he's lost the ball. And it has come out to Mukumbamwi. Wales win the ball back. I think they have, yes. Big side, inside by the scrum half and Webb, right on there, Tipperick has got, he's under the pile. Webb stands set, and he's thrown across, offload is good. Wales again with the ball, Tipperick inside wanted it, needed it, the pass, little pop to his right would have done. 
Goes inside again. Strong one again. Big drive by Alan Wynn Jones. Gets them to within 10 meters. Tipperick out wide. Tipperick going for the line. And again, this is Falatau. Oh, challenge again. Outstanding rugby by South Africa to hang on. Wells with all the pressure, huge hits on Baldwin. And a penalty in the end. Holding on. Oh, he's come on to replace Ken Owens. Baldwin, it's not been his day. Strong kick. It's out by Lee. Africa have to win their line out here and defend this. All they've done is defend in this half. No forward on it. Well, seem to have the numbers on the breakdown. Oh, it's a massive hit just in front of the try line. South Africa have retained possession. It's thrown away. And again, it's a massive maul in the breakdown. Again, a huge hit by Tipperick. Wales trying to find. They've got possession. They're going for the line. Oh, Hill was brought down just a second too far. Was that it? Was that Wales' chance? The halfpenny. Tries to drive into the South African half. South Africa escaped with the ball. Defending for the lines. Alan Wynn Jones. He's half a metre away. Krill is challenged, he loses the ball. And Marks is off and uh, Kitsoff is on. It's off the replacement. Smith is down. South Africa have just defended so stoutly. Wales now they've got one last chance and this might be it! This might be it! Inside to Webb who's down again. Oh it's a penalty and that'll be it. That'll be it. Evans is on for Smith. It's a substitute for a substitute. Lee replaces Francis. Deepy's heard the buzzer. He will kick the ball out into touch. And it is the Springbok that go on to play in the Rugby World Cup final against the All Blacks. Wales have put on an almighty effort. Something that will be talked about, but this defensive display by South Africa will go down in rugby folklore as the finest. Wales gave it absolutely everything they gave it everything that they had but in the end at full time in Yokohama Wales have lost by five points 12 to 7 and this is really really going to sting congratulations to the Springboks who go through after one of the finest defensive performances I think that we've ever seen and you look at those stats they don't lie, but it's the one that counts at the top full time. It's 7 12 to South Africa. Well, on a night in which the remaining Northern Hemisphere sides are knocked out, it will be a final of the All Blacks versus the Springboks. It is rugby royalty playing a thrilling finale to what has been a fantastic tournament. We will always remember Japan 2019. From England, they're just going to have to settle for winning a, a Cricket World Cup this year, but the rugby side can hold them held up very high, and you have to put them as joint favourites next winter's Grand Slam along with Wales and you can watch the Six Nations with us here on Trevor Sports and Grandstands we'll be bringing you exclusive coverage of that next year we've got exclusive coverage coming up of the final not only that we've got football we've got athletics and we've got a lot more here to enjoy if you enjoyed the video please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification to keep up to date of all the latest videos but from all of us here on sports nights we hope you have the re enjoy the rest of your weekend as well thank you very much for watching and bye bye